Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a wash and go using some Camille Rose products that I received this month. So this week I got the Fresh Curl, got the Curl Aid, and I got the Curl Maker. And these are the results. So if you wanna see how I got on, just keep watching. I did plan on doing something a bit more snazzy with my wash and go, but I just couldn't be asked and I haven't done a wash and go in a while. And I was meant to revisit the Curl Maker anyway, so here we are. So yeah, let's get straight into this video. So I'm starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair and this is what my hair is looking like. Then I'm parting my hair off into four sections as usual and I'm starting off with the Camille Rose Fresh Curl as my leave-in conditioner and I'm applying that all over the section and adding water if needed. So as I said this is the Camille Rose Fresh Curl Revitalizing Hair Smoothie. It has avocado and castor oil in it. These are some of my favourite oils to use. I do include these in my hair oil mixtures that I use. My hair responds really well to those oils and it responds really well to this product as well. So yeah, I'm just adding that thoroughly all over my hair and adding more water if necessary. So I'm just going to comb this out just to help me to get my clump, clumping action that I want. And I'm using a wide tooth comb because I just don't want to use the brush because I don't want it to break my strands too much. And then I'm going to add some water. And I'm going to take the Curl Aid. So this is a Camille Rose Curl Aid Moisture Butter. And this has green tea and jojoba oil in it. Another oil that I use. I don't think I've actually done any tutorials with the Curl Aid before on my channel. But I have used it and I do like the products. I just felt like the almond jar was a bit more nourishing and moisturising. So yeah, that's why I decided to do one product twist out on my channel using the almond jar instead. Finally get to see the curl aid in actually now. <laughs> See, because that's nice and detangled now, it's easy to make the curls clump. And this is exactly why I like thick products, because it does what I need it to do. So this is the Camille Rose Curl Maker, which has marshmallow and agave leaf extract in it. I'm hoping this holds, because I was actually going to use Eco Styler on top, but I'm just going to be generous with the curl maker and hope for the best. It's got enough heavy products in it to hold and to retain moisture as well so i'm not going to use an oil either so i do love the curl maker but i've just not had lasting results every time i use it with my wash and goes anyway i do tend to use it more these days for slicked hairstyles because it does really give my hair a really nice shine to it but for the wash and goes it just doesn't hold my hair so as much as i love the product and love using the products and the way it goes in my hair it just doesn't last. So yeah, I'm trying it out again today to see if the layering will work. That's what it's looking like. Quite good actually. Right, on to the next section. So these products did actually weigh down my hair quite a bit, but first day is always kind of flat for me anyway, and it did fluff out as the days went by. So yeah, I'm just still trying to like adapt to having thinner, thinner hair because I'm finding that even though some processes are a lot easier, the results that I get is a bit different. I love this one over the moisture milk. That's why I chose it again this month. But next time I probably will get the moisture milk just to balance things out a bit. So yeah, it's like that. And then I'm taking the Curl Aid. And this is the thickest product of them all out of the Camille Rose line. And I chose this one today because I wanted something that was really, really thick. I'm layering a lot of products today because I know that the curl maker is going to need some support. And then the curl maker on top. Looking real good. So yeah, I really do think the tangling your hair first before you put the styler in really helps with clumping the curls. Cause look how easy that was for me. I mean, the curl maker does wonders for clumpage anyways, but um, yeah, it just, just works so much better. Usually it takes some time to get the curls to clump together. So I'm usually having to really, really work the product in. This works, this works well. Comb that out and then define, define, define. <laughs> going to get the perimeter of the section so up here I get a lot of flyaways a lot of frizz get that section and the front of my hair 
So I'm just gonna take the whole section. Interlocking my fingers and then smoothing. Let's get the best clamping action. All done. It's looking good. On to the other side. So as you can see, it's frizzing up a little bit and I don't get that with Eco Styler Gel. And that's one thing I didn't like about the curl maker. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply a little bit more curl maker over the top just to make sure I don't get any frizzing. And I'm going to be diffusing today because apparently what's trending or what's new in the natural hair community is that air drying is actually damaging, more damaging than a diffuser. And I'd say I've air dried a whole entire journey and look how healthy my hair is. So, I mean, I could probably get my hair to be more healthy, but honestly, anything that we do with our hair is damaging. They tell us not to comb our hair when it's wet because it's more fragile when it's wet. We have to detangle our hair when it's wet. We can't brush our hair when it's dry unless it's straight because we will get more tangles, more breakage. And also about oils and butters. The reason why we add oil to our hair is because our natural sebum from our scalp doesn't reach to the ends because our hair is coily. Whereas on the other hand, if your hair is straight, the oil is gonna reach down to your ends. So that's why we add oils. So I feel like some of these rules don't apply to us, honestly. But I'm gonna try it today, see if I see a difference, which I probably won't see an, an immediate difference, but I wanna see if it reduces my frizz because apparently it's supposed to reduce the amount of frizz that you have as well. This is what it's looking like. Oh, get off my lip, let's do that again. So this is what we're looking like. <laughs> Looks really, really good. And I'm gonna part my hair off into the way I like to wear my wash and go so I don't like a middle part because my hair is too flat. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a bit more of that curl maker and put it into my parting. I'm also merging the two sections together because I don't like to have that separation in, in the back. And just flip and flip and flip and flip and flip. <laughs> okay. So this is the diffuser that I'm using today. It is the Remitting something or another. I'll leave the details for it down below. Um, it's the same hair dryer I use in my Curly Straight routine. It's just got the diffuser detachment. Do you Diffuser attachment. So yeah, I'm just gonna use it on low heat, low speed and just hover it over my hair first of all. That's the first step. Um, don't like the way this is frizzing up already, you know? And I'm gonna try and diffuse it as, as long as I can really. Maybe 20 minutes, try and get it as dry as possible. Just so that I can reduce the amount of frizz, hopefully. Right, so let's get started, eh? So I can actually count the amount of times I've diffused my hair. That's how much I hate diffusing. It just takes so long. I mean, I spent all this time washing and styling my hair and then to go on to diffusing afterwards. No, it's not, it's not a bit of me. <laughs> so yeah, I hate diffusing, but it is a good option if you don't like going outside with your hair wet or going to bed with your hair wet. I personally don't like either. <laughs> so I tend to do my wash and goes at night time so it's dry by the morning. I like to air dry until my hair's about 70, 75% dry and then I'll put it up in a pineapple and it's practically dry the next day. It's just like the roots that's still a bit damp but apparently that's not good to do. But I've been doing it my whole journey so that's what works best for me and it gives me the shape that I like as well. I'm not a fan of going outside with my hair wet and just letting it air dry because the shape comes out a bit triangular and I don't like going to bed with my hair wet because who does? <laughs> my hair is, I'd say 90, 95% dry. It's just like the roots. It's not dry like the ends. It looks pretty good, to be honest. Not as much frizz as I usually get with Camille Rose pad at all it's got a nice little hold on it as well not crunchy i know that this is going to last me at least four days i feel like it's going to last me at least four days it's got a hold on it beautiful it's so cute so cute let's get a thumbnail 
what I'm gonna do really is just put a little side clip here and I'm gonna be done so cute so I just bent it bent the wings a little bit now it looks like it's flying yeah, so I'm just gonna add it to my hair this is very cute <laughs> love butterflies so yeah these are the results I can't wait for my hair to fluff out a bit more because day one hair is always flat for me absolutely love the combo by the way the combo is yeah it's just a pity that i have to like layer on so much product to get it the way i want it like this is close to how i get my hair when i use eco styler gel and that's all down to the curl aid i believe because i need that thickness to clump my curls together and actually hold it as well but yes that's the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial or review whatever it is i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more hair content from me thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye